Okay. Hello, YouTube. Let's try this. Wet day in Alabama today. Uh, I really wanted to do this video outside, but it's still sprinkling. So we'll see how it goes. I wanted to talk about my experience about a month ago. I decided to go and camp. Me and, the, me and my security operatives here, uh, we went and camped up on top of the mountain. I live in a valley. There's a mountain on each side, so you can pick a mountain and go. Uh, so I went to this mountain over here. There's less private property and stuff over here on this side. So uh, we went over here and camped uh, two nights, and I about froze myself to death. And uh, we're going to talk about that. And uh, you know, most of the time when you go to Walmart or whatever, I just realized this bag's inside out. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> You go to Walmart or your wherever your academy, or whatever, and you just buy a sleeping bag. That's what I did. It was stupid. Uh, I didn't look at the rating. I just bought a sleeping bag, and I've used this thing a couple of times in the summertime up the river, and it was fine. But uh, the nights I was camping, it was 20 degrees, 25, 23, and I about froze. And for the following reasons, I'll tell you. First of all, I need a four season sleeping bag. This is like a one season or two maybe. It's a summertime sleeping bag. I think it's rated at 33 or 34 degrees. It's not gonna cut it in the winter. Uh, so, but you know, you, you have all these prepper channels telling you to go and try your stuff. And there's a reason for that, y'all. Uh, you definitely, I agree with them. You need to go and try your stuff uh, because you'll learn uh, things that will help you in the past. I should have never done that. He'll, he'll never quit now. Uh, but, uh, yeah. About froze for two days on the side of the mountain. I was more than glad to come home. It's trying to rain on me again, y'all. But, yeah. I've got to buy a, uh, for two reasons, this sleeping bag will not work for me. I'll use it in the summertime. That's fine. But for winter time and whatnot, and I live in Alabama, y'all. It don't get real cold in Alabama, but you know, as uh, as it goes to prove, uh, 20 degrees or 20 degrees, and this this ain't gonna cut it. Um, so uh, first of all, this sleeping bag is too short for me. I'm a rather tall person, you know. I'm uh, six foot, uh, you know, maybe an inch shy of six foot. So I'm a tall person. And this thing just wasn't tall for me. It claims to be six foot long, but it's not. Uh, and so basically my head froze all night. Uh, I had to keep my head outside. Of course I had a toboggan on, but uh, about froze. So then I pulled out one of these. I had seen, this is your space blanket, emergency blanket, mylar blanket, whatever you want to call it. I pulled one of these out of my bug out bag because I had all that stuff with me. And I thought, you know, somebody had said on a prepper channel somewhere that uh, that you could use these as a sleeping bag liner. <clears throat> so, out of necessity, I pulled one out. There's still one in this sleeping bag right now that's still in there from when I used it. I figured there's no way I could fold it back up. So, um, so I whipped one of these out and stuck it in my sleeping bag. Did it help? Eh, maybe a little bit. Um, not much that I can tell, to be honest with you. But one thing about these that I didn't know is they are noisy, y'all. If you know, this was just a two-day practice camping trip, so it didn't really matter. But if you're evading or trying to escape and you need, you know, opsec is a big priority. This thing will work. These things are noisy. They are a Walmart sack times a thousand noisy. And every time you breathe in your sleeping bag, this thing crickles and cracks and makes all the kind of noise. And I thought that was something I would bring to the prepper community because it's something that's probably not well known. Uh, so, for 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 these reasons, it ain't long enough for me. I gotta have a longer. I gotta have a sleeping bag. It's made for tall people. This one claims to be six feet. It's not. Uh, there's no way it can be. Uh, so I need a taller bag one. I'm gonna go for seven feet. I need one that's for sure at least six feet So I'm gonna go for the longest bag I can get when I go to buy another one 
And I'm gonna go for a four season bag. Y'all, I've looked at these four season sleeping bags. They are expensive. This one, you know, 35 bucks. Yeah, it ain't gonna work for me, not in the winter time. And you have to prepare for winter time, bug outs or whatever. You have to prepare for that type of stuff uh, because you just don't never know. And so I'm gonna be acquiring a four season sleeping bag and I've stated what the reasons are for that. Uh, also, uh, this is a closed cell foam mat. I wanted to stay away from the inflatables because I just figured they weren't very durable. Uh, this better than nothing, but I'm really rethinking this purchase. I really may go with something inflatable, something that's tough, something I may have to spend some money on, but not, not real good. Uh, for in my first use of it didn't go very well I was on I was on top of a mountain so it was rocky soil uh, and I even tried just folding this thing in half and just letting my legs go on the on the on the tent floor because I was in a tent and I tried doubling it up and even doubled up it was better doubled up but still wasn't very comfortable didn't get much sleep at all uh, for these two days that I was in the mountains um, so yeah, I wanted to get that out. These are very noisy if you put them in your sleeping bag as a sleeping bag liner. Uh, it helped to some degree, and maybe just mentally, but uh, they're so noisy, y'all. When you're trying to sleep in this thing, it's noisy. So if you're evading for some reason, you don't want to have to put this in your sleeping bag. I'm telling you right now. But they are noisy. Every time you breathe, it makes racket. Rocky, behave, son. Rocky gets out of line. He gets focused on his ball or his frisbee and he just goes nuts. So those are some things I wanted to bring to the table. Uh, thank you to Grim Survival for sharing my first video that I made. Thank you for all the wonderful comments that people have made welcoming to me to the prepping community. Y'all, that, that touched me right there. Thank y'all so much. Uh, of course, there was one nerd that gave me a thumbs down. Whatever, I get it. Speak your mind, brother. Uh, wanted to shout out also to the Angry Prepper, uh, the Angry Truth, uh, either one of his channels, man, check him out. He is, it is so refreshing to see somebody speaking their mind, they're not afraid to speak it, and the Angry Prepper, love your channel, I'm always on your live streams, you probably noticed me down in the comments, but, uh, those, you know, those are some good channels, uh, Jonathan with Prepper Nation's good. Uh, these are some of the channels I didn't get to call out in my first video. Um, so, yeah. Y'all, check out the Prepper channels. And uh, there are ones that aren't real. A Survivalist Prepper is another good one. Warrior Poet Society. If you want to get some training on some guns and you can't afford a class, uh, you know, I would rather you take a class. But uh, Warrior Poet Society can really train you up. Uh, and they can teach you a lot of things because they have taught me a bunch. Uh, but these are just some of the, uh, I don't know why I'm holding that. But these are just some of the, uh, the sites that I've been watching and they're really enjoying. Of course, all the ones I called out before, still watch them, still get updates from them. Um, I like Iridium, I think it's Iridium 242. I think, uh, I like your, um, your reviews you do on outdoor gear and, and that kind of stuff. I love your uh, reviews. I watch a lot of those. They help me make my mind up whether or not to purchase something. So, uh, it's a rainy day in Alabama, but I just wanted to do this outside. I get tired of being stuck in the house or in the building a lot of times. So, uh, um, thank y'all so much for being so kind to me, uh, welcoming me to the prepping community on YouTube. God bless all of y'all. Stay prayed up. Stack it to the rafters. Uh, watch what's going on around you. Keep your situational awareness up. Uh, and we thank y'all for watching. Uh, subscribe and thumbs up if you can. Or thumbs down if you don't like me. Hey, speak your mind, man. That's what that's what it's all about. Uh, we thank y'all again. Uh, let's see. Thanks for watching, y'all.